this is the informal settlement in here also okay so in this time from here mm -hmm. you can simply open your map land use land cover which you created just open and then you can see yeah you can see this red pixel okay so this pixel value mm -hmm. is mainly informal settlement mm -hmm. or that you can see this is the informal settlement or slum area in the old fadama region yes, no. okay yeah, so yeah you can see this is the this is also about that uh slum area or informal settlement we can get in here so it says this is the total islam area okay so here you can see mm -hmm. you can simply open this map and we can get the red color okay so basically this is the red color about the settlement but in this time it's also provide the distinct types of settlement which is the informal okay so okay. now what you can do you can easily separate that suppose in this time you just take the another you can see suppose i take the another uh, formal settlement and informal settlement so in this time informal settlement yeah so in this time uh okay so in this time okay so i simply put this its name is that it's only for the settlement suppose i put the i put this name it's only for the settlement because it's including the formal informal both okay so now from here i just separate only for that only for that informal settlement okay so i can get the informal settlement in here you can see this is the informal settlement also this is the informal settlement okay so this is my settlement is the okay it's for the all of settlement so just i simply click on here mm -hmm. and i put this suppose i want to identify informal settlement just put here the informal okay then class mm -hmm. five okay so now what you can do it's very easy just simply open that you can see it will show the uh, this type of color so in this time you can simply take this pixel value suppose you can simply open the informal settlement and take the pixel value for the informal settlement so in this time we are using the point it will be better for that so just informal settlement select and select the point okay so now simply separate take the some pixel value or training point it's a informal settlement okay it, you can see it already showing about the settlement but it's the another distinct type of settlement informal settlement so just we simply take mm -hmm. this training point informal settlement it's an informal settlement okay so now then we can also classify it about the informal settlement region so in informal also you can see in this time this type of settlement is also informal you can simply open the map it shows the red color but this in this time it is the informal settlement not formal okay we just try to make the another class it's the informal settlement okay and mainly for this slum area we can easily find out the informal settlement okay and other types of settlement which are not situated in the slum area it is the formal settlement okay suppose i take this training point look like that and now i just simply just add here the another thing is that you can see we already classified yeah in this time we are just um changing here for that adding the another class new class which name is that i simply use at the merge function merge with informal settlement okay okay just i create about that informal settlement so now i just try to add the informal settlement in my email so okay i just use at the class 5 and i want to show the informal settlement as the another color suppose i put the color name is that but i want to show the informal settlement as a suppose uh gray color okay so now click on this time it will show about the informal settlement okay just you have to take the informal settlement training point and then it automatically show the informal settlement class also and from that you can easily calculate mm -hmm. the area all of the things you can do so now you can check the result and also check about that what is the accuracy you can get in this time you are also get the low accuracy you can see here you can take the let's check the accuracy We can get they can see 92% accuracy.
Wow, that's great. Okay, so now it also, you can see this type of gray color. We can get the gray color. It's identify about that informal settlement. Okay, so here you can see. We get the informal set as a gray color. Okay. You can see gray color. So now I want to display only for the informal settlement map. Only for the in informal settlement map. Just take a variable and put the variable name, suppose informal settlement. And then from here, I just simply call my classified image. And paste here and set equal to class name. You can see the informal settlement class name is that five. Set here the five. So now display the informal settlement map only. So use add the map dot add layer and call the informal settlement. Click copy that and paste here. And then put here the mean, it will be zero and max up to one and put here the plated function suppose i to show the plated look like that suppose a gray color mm -hmm. and red color for the informal settlement and now i will set the uh, layer name suppose informal settlement click to the run so in this time it show only for the informal settlement map you can see year of 2020 Yes, so now you can see here we can get only for the informal settlement map. Okay, so now this type of red color identify about the informal settlement map. Okay, so mainly with this type of slum or other things we can easily identify from here. Okay, so in, now it display the result for informal settlement map. You can see. And you can also try to use the satellite map. You can see that basically you can get the positive result from here. The slum or informal slum. Okay, so here we can see get the informal settlement map in here. So now you want to calculate okay. the area about the informal settlement area in 2020. Okay. So for that, what we can do? Just we simply write the code for that calculating the area. Suppose I put the variable name, suppose area, and call the informal settlement. Simply copy and paste here. And you will add that multiply function ee dot image dot pixel area pixel area yeah and then i simply take a variable suppose area and suppose i uh, call this area same and then put here reduce region okay 
can pull all of this one by one. So then put here the curly bracket start and also curly bracket in. Mm, then put here the reducer and to calculate the total area of informal settlement. Use at the ee dot reducer yes. dot sum total area. Geometry is our boundary shape file variable name. So mainly ry. I check the name about that. So aoy. Okay, this name is the aoy. AOI. SKL is the resolution. It's mainly 30 meter resolution for land set. Okay, so now I simply show the result from here. So just uh, print that. So use at the print function. In this time, it calculated the area in square meter. How much informal settlement is available in the Accra? And we can get the 92% of our accuracy and 89% cup by accuracy. You can see the result from here. Uh, it looked like that. So I, I can simply convert the unit in the square kilometer. It shows the square meter. Okay. So just I simply convert the square kilometer. Just take a variable. Suppose area square kilometer. And then simply e dot number. And this number is for area. Okay, it uh, get from classification result. You can see classification result. Simply copy that and paste here. Suppose I uh, I just simply uh, uh, suppose divide with divide with one e six. Okay, so now we can get the result square kilometer. So simply print that area square kilometer. Simply copy. And paste and click on. So now we can get the result in a square kilometer. We can face the some problem. Okay, so in this time we have to use at that um, code, uh, square quotation. So now it will be okay. So basically, this is the process about that how we can easily uh, separate the formal and informal settlement. Okay. So first of all, you try to make the full settlement. A full settlement may be there to create. And from here, you can, you can take the another training point for informal settlement. Okay. So in this time, we can get the result. You can see 159.12 square kilometer informal settlement are available in Accra in year of 2020. And this is the map about only for the informal settlement map. Okay. So further, we are also download the TP mazes. Okay. So in this time, what you can do? In this time, you are just follow the same approach, okay? You are just use the same code, okay? And try to find out the result, okay? Suppose you use the same code for year of 2020 for other city, for other city, and also use the same code for year of 1990, the same code, okay? Then we can easily download this type of tip images from here. Uh, then we are easily classified, the make, make the map for the change detection map or formal informal settlement map we can easily create okay so in this time you are just following the same code for other four cities and then identify the formal and informal settlement okay so it's very easy process then there is not the hard for that so i will i i also send you the recorded video class for that you also try to do that i hope you can easily make the formal and informal settlement classification and also calculate the area just complete the four cities all of those work okay for the same work okay for the four cities then we are also i also show you that how we can easily use the arc map software to produce the map it also very easy i hope you can easily do that okay then you can easily yeah, get okay. all of those data you can see we can from that we can easily make the 
uh, using this type of data suppose you can see in this time we can get the data for that 159 uh, so then from this data we can easily identify how much informal settlement will be increasing or decreasing okay this type of analysis we can do it too okay so i will send you this Perfect. thank you so much okay we also try to do that okay thank you for it. okay have a good day okay okay bye okay